adjustments, make sure everything is fine. And uh, I just want to welcome you to a new year. We're starting the daily boost, and this is your daily dose of a daily boost. And uh, it's going to be phenomenal. So I pray that you are ready for something good. You want to invite your friends, tell them the doctor is in the house. And uh, I am looking forward to another exciting edition of the daily boost okay so but i want to encourage you uh, you don't want to forget we have the power school of miracles coming up in a couple of days from the 18th to the 24th which is this monday we are going to be having this power school it is going to be glorious so get yourself ready it is going to be amazing you need to go to psom.org and register we have dr brian rubin let us know how the audio is and we have Candice, God bless you, and uh, Joy, God bless you. We want to make sure you can invite your friends. This year is going to be absolutely phenomenal. We have Alexander, God bless you. I see all of you that are joined. I see, I see uh, Prophet Frank Udo, God bless you, man of God. I see Denise, God bless you. I'm so glad that sure, you all joined me. Sure, to which language? <laughs> so um, technology always has its own place. <laughs> So, but uh, I want to make sure um, everybody is on board with me, make sure everybody's ready to go. So, but thank God you all join me. We have Kaylee, Allen, God bless you. And uh, we have Shanna, Victor, Collins, God bless you. I'm glad you all join me. So today we're talking about, um, we'll be talking about, first of all, you got to see the power school is coming up. The theme of this power school is called, He's Beloved, He's Beloved. Now, it's a statement people make, but they don't understand the real revelation when God calls Jesus, this is my beloved son. A lot of people do not understand what that means. This is my beloved son. So what it means to be his beloved, that is what the power school is going to be. Once you have a revelation of that statement, my beloved it will change everything you do in ministry and how you're operating in life and business and everything. You don't want to miss it. You need to register for the Power School of Miracles. It is going to be phenomenal. We have uh, amazing speakers that are coming up. I'm going to be there. Mama Don is going to be there. And a lot of people are going to be there too. So we want to make sure that all of you are in, on the same page with us. It is going to be amazing. So get yourself ready. God is at work and it is going to be glorious. It's going to be glorious. So we are kicking off the daily boost. And tonight we also have another program. We have the Wisdom Wednesday. I pray that you join it and um, check out some of the past broadcasts. We are going full speed and uh, we are still building on the TV network. We have a lot of work to do. So um, we want to make sure that everybody is on board with us. So I'll be talking today about the force of faith, the creative power of faith that will bring into visibility the invisible. We've talked about in the past about creating faith's pictures, but I wanna to talk to you about what force faith has, the force of faith. The Bible says, you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that he is Lord. You shall be saved because with the heart a man believes unto righteousness, but with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Now we're going to be reading a few scriptures to help you get a basis for that. I see Jean Baptiste, God bless you, and Hashanel, God bless you. I'm, go I'm glad you all have joined me today. But praise God for all the wonderful things that He's doing. And um, I am going to be teaching on this. And I also want to make sure you can tell me some of your favorite. Um, um, topics you want me to teach on, I'll kind of put the ball in your court, that you ask some of the uh, questions you might want to ask or some topic you want me to teach, you want to inbox me and let me know you are interested in this, okay? So we're talking about creating faith picture. This year, God spoke to me. It's going to be a year of uh, your manifested glory. What does that mean? It's one thing about having the glory. Another thing is actually manifesting that which you have. The Bible says in John 2, 11, this beginning of miracles did Jesus in Cana of Galilee and his disciples believed on him. He manifested forth his glory and they believed in him. Until there is a manifestation of the glory, people will not believe you. You see, when you have demonstration, 
it means you have credibility. And I pray that you understand what I'm talking about. Understanding the force of faith. Remember this. Faith is not a product of reason. It is a product of revelation. It is the, a force from the recreated human spirit. It can move mountains. We're going to read a scripture in Mark 11. I want you to read that scripture with me. Mark 11. It says this in verse 22. It says, have faith in God. Jesus said, have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be the cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in their heart that what they say shall come to pass. But believe that what the things you say will come to pass. He shall have what he saith. He shall have what he saith. It applies. It is a universal law. Now, this law will work whether you are a believer or not a believer. It works. It's a law. Now, if it is a law, it means that it will work if it's put into effect. The same way, if you're speaking something negative, you will have what you say. If you're speaking something positive, you will have what you say. I've never seen a champion ever say, I'm going to lose. They always say, I'm going to win. You see, your words and your pictures on the inside must be in absolute agreement. Now, I'm going to give you some basics, but we're going to take it up to another level. That way you can be built up in the word today. I hope you, you are enjoying this. So you want to share it with a, a lot of people. Faith is a force. It brings the invisible and it makes it visible. It said faith sees, faith hears, and it acts on a different picture. You see, when you're operating by faith, time is no longer your master. Time is suspended when faith is in control. You can control, manipulate, reverse, and even stop time when you are operating by faith. When you're operating by faith, everything is subject to you. The visible world is actually subject to you. Now, I want you to pay attention to what the Bible says. It says, you shall say to this mountain, a mountain is something that's, that does not move. But you can say with words, to this mountain be that removed, and be the cast into the sea. You see, it takes a force to move things. See, in physics, they always taught us force equals mass times acceleration. Mass times acceleration. Force equals ma. Mass substance and movement. You see, what will give it movement? Faith is never fully activated until there is some movement, some action that corresponds to it. So you have the substance of the word, but that has to be an accompanying action to give it a force. Just like a car will not move until you apply some, some, some force, maybe the engine turns on and it begins to move. There has to be some movement for fate to be fully conscious. That means to release the force of fate requires acceleration. Now, you cannot have acceleration without some action. There's got to be an action that will put that substance into into effect. Now, what is it? See, now, when faith comes, now, I don't want to talk much about faith. Faith is easy when your focus is Jesus. I don't look at faith for itself. I look at the man behind the words. If the man is trustworthy, I will be able to trust this word. So if God gives me his word, it's a force that needs to be activated, but it will never be activated until I agree with God. And then I will put some corresponding action to that. Maybe God tells you to buy a place and you say, I don't have money, but you have the word of God. The word of God is substance enough. You see, sometimes when, when God tells us, I'm going to do things for you. We are expecting God to actually, if God says, I'm going to give you a house, we're expecting God to just land a house and hand it to us. Sometimes he can give you a brick, a brick. 
He says, I'm going to give you a house. But he gives you a brick. Most people will look at the brick and say, oh, that's not a house. But see, faith sees a house in the brick. Faith sees the complete picture before it even begins. That is a seed. It is the seed for the house. The same thing I said, I'm going to build you a big vineyard or I'm going to build you a big forest. And I hand you a seed. You know, most people will look at me disappointed and say, well, you give me a seed. I thought you were going to give me a forest. My dear friends, that's not how faith works. You see, you cannot carry a forest, but you can carry a seed. You see, when you take the seed of the word of God, then you put corresponding action in that seed. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 1, it said each seed has its own seed within itself. It has seeds within seeds. In other words, faith is seed within seed. Seed within seed. Let me explain what that means. It means velocity in velocity. Acceleration has two things, original speed and the ending speed. You see, you start with this kind of speed and then you end up another speed. It's called acceleration. That means the velocity, initial velocity, and then the final velocity over a time period. That's what acceleration is. You have V2 minus V1, that's calculation over time. That means the initial the, the the ending speed, out of that, you remove the initial speed. Maybe you started at a very small speed. But the fact that you started, it has a time period when as you start with that little seed, it could be a little seed and you plant that seed and you keep planting that seed. It keeps just like an acceleration of a car. It keeps building and building and building before you know it it becomes a forest. Before you know it, it becomes a house. And that's how faith works. It begins with a seed, a mustard seed, a small idea. Some of you have discounted that little idea that God has given you, and you've said, well, it doesn't matter. Listen, every great thing stands, starts with a seed. It's a force that needs to be released. Inside of the seed is potency. It's all of God himself wrapped up in that seed of his word, waiting to explode and express God. Now, let me ask you, how can I bring a very big tree into the studio? How can I bring a big, seed, a, a big tree? I bring a seed. How can I ca travel with a forest? I bring a seed. In the seed as a whole forest, it's having the picture of possibilities. Faith is possibilities. It's seeing the end from the beginning. But you know, a lot of people don't know that. The first thing they do is throw the seed. It doesn't matter. I thought God was going to give me uh, something big, but uh, it's not working. But my dear friends, that's not how it works. God begins with a seed. Everything, Genesis chapter 1 verse 29, it said, I have given you a seed. I have given you a seed. This seed will meet your need. This seed, what do you have in your hand? What do you have in your house? That could be the starting point for a miracle today. It could be just the starting point for a miracle that you need. That when you believe in that seed and then take that seed and invest it, guess what is going to happen? Over a time period, a momentum is being built up and you have the force of that seed of that faith being released. Maybe if somebody is sick, you've been staying there and you have a little strength. You just, that is a seed. That little strength you have just to only believe. That little strength you have just to believe what God says about you. Your body's tired, the doctors are giving a bad report, but then you have this little seed and you want to turn that seed into something tangible to your healing. What do you do, my dear friends? This is what you do. You Take that seed and put some force or some action. No wonder the Bible says faith without action, faith without works, faith without corresponding works is dead faith. But living faith must have corresponding action. That means it might seem the mountain is so big. Don't look at the size of the mountain. Look at the size of the force of God who made the mountain. When you begin to believe that, something amazing begins to happen. 
something amazing begins to happen. You begin to see that small idea you have. It could be the business idea. It could be just something. People might even walk away from you and call you crazy, but there's some something on the inside of you that is building up, that is building up, that is bringing God to bear. Hallelujah. I hope you're catching on to what I'm talking about today. You see, faith needs a picture of, of victory on the inside. You have to have the picture of victory on the inside. And you have to have the picture, I said, picture of victory. And when you put a little action to the word of God. Maybe you've been sick and you're hearing me today and you hear that God says, I am the Lord that heals thee. He says, I, I remove sickness and disease. By my stripes, you were healed. In other words, he's telling you, you were already healed. It's a little seed that comes to you. Your body feels tired, but then you decide, I'm going to put action to the substance. Faith is the substance, but substance needs action to release the force of faith. And you sit back and what do you do? You're a little tired, but you make a decision, a quality decision at a moment said, I'm going to believe what God says. The doctors have told me I have to be here for three weeks, but you said, I believe I'm walking out of this hospital today. What do you do? You get up, that little seed releases a force that is moving the mountain around you. Are you hearing me? It's removing that mountain of sickness. It's removing the mountain of financial stress. Believe in God's word and you see amazing begins to happen. It begins to happen just because you dare to believe it. And you don't want to forget coming to Power School of Miracles. It's coming up in a couple of days. I'm telling you. It is going to be the best power school you've been to ever. You've got to register. We have to be very strict with that as a school. You have to register. It's an experience. You experience a dimension of love you've never experienced. Those that have been to power school can tell you that. But I'm talking about the force of faith. It's not a product of reason. It is the product of revelation. There's a creative power. There is creative power in the word when it's released. How do you do that? You know, some people say, I'm going to pray, I'm going to pray. Yes, you pray to know, but you don't pray to act. You pray to know. When you know the purpose of knowledge is action. The purpose of revelation is action. You don't go and pray after you have revelation. You act on it. And that's the key, my friends, The releases. It releases the force of faith. Faith is tangible. Faith is real. Faith is reality. But you have to act on that word for it to be real. You see, faith does not happen in a vacuum. It happens in you. It happens in you. You've got to believe that. You have to capture the picture that God is putting in you. Something on the inside of you, six expression. And my dear friends, it is the faith of God at work in you. I hope this is helping somebody today. It doesn't matter where you've been. It makes no difference how hard those things have been. Today, as you're hearing this, there is a force on the inside. Maybe you're pressed down on every side. You're pressed down by financial, financial pressures. But I have good news for you. When you take the word of God and believe that word, it will turn things loose for you. Put the faith of God in action and see what God does. You see, you pour out your little strength and God does the rest. He releases his big power. You see, once you start with that action, it moves from velocity to acceleration. That means as you are moving, God is moving with you. It is God who is at work in you, both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Faith without doing, without action is dead. So when you start, God is at work in you. He's at work in you. He's working with them, confirming the word spoken. That's what I'm talking about. Have you been dealing with some things that seems insurmountable? I'm here to tell you that today begins something extraordinary in your life. Faith is being activated in you. The word of God is happening on the inside of you. It is changing everything you do and it's giving you a brand new start. Are you ready? Are you, are you catching on with this? See, what I'm saying to you today is cultivate pictures of faith. 
You see, when you have that seed of faith, there is a knowing in the inside of you. There is something you know that others don't know. They might call you crazy for a short time, but that's okay because they don't know or they cannot see what you say. They will call you all kinds of names, but you know what you do? You act on the word of God. Nowhere took 120 years. People laughed at him, but the moment he acted on the faith of the word he's received, all of a sudden, here comes the flood. Do you know in the midst of the things happening in the world, if there might be a flood today, you will be in the ark. No matter what happens in our world today, you will not be affected. You're living in the bubble of the Holy Ghost. That means when you're walking by faith, Everything else now is subject to you. Do you know that time now becomes your companion? Faith is not expecting. Faith is accepting as done what God says is for you. You see, you've got to go beyond just thinking about it. You've got to come to the place where you're acting on the word of God. That's what you ought to do today. You see, faith releases a force. I say to you, you have the substance, the word of God, but then you've got to take that word put some action to it, and that's how the force of faith is released. Whatever you need, you can have. No wonder the Bible says, ask anything in my name. Ask anything, and I will do it. I've come to the place sometimes, I stop asking. Why do I stop asking? Because I know I already have it. I just thank him for it, and I just act on the word of God. And when I act, you see, some people are praying while others are acting. Those that are putting actions are getting the results. Those that are doing the praying are getting no results. Think of it. A lot of times, people spend time praying and praying and praying. Nothing's happening. A man gets up, believes it, and acts on it, and gets the result. And the one praying says, Lord, why? Because faith requires movement. There must be a force release in your faith. It's not enough just to believe it. If you believe God wants you to buy a house, go and put a down payment. If you don't have the down payment, talk to them. Release something. There is always a miracle in your house. There's always a miracle in your house. God does not leave you with with, without anything, you have something in you that it's a seed that you can release. It could be maybe what you if you what you have in your hand is not enough to meet your need. It's a seed. It's a seed. See, I'm I'm prepared now to release a major seed, hallelujah, into 2021. I am ready to release a big seed because what I need is bigger. It's way bigger. So I need to release this seed so that I can get the big harvest. It's simple. Faith power is seed power. It's very simple. When you have some people say, I don't believe in that. Well, you don't have to believe it. Those that believe it, get the results. If you don't believe it, you can stay there. The wonderful thing about believing is you live out what you are believing. You always live out what you're believing. You know, your believing determines your living. Your believing determines your living. The key to your victory is in your mouth. You can never live beyond the speech that you have. Your speech might be limiting you. When you say things like, I don't believe in prosperity, I don't believe in this, you wonder why struggles are there. Because with your own words, you're signing your own problems. You're signing the package with your own words. You shall have what you say. You're wondering why things are tough. Change your speech. Change the picture on the inside and change how you act based on the word of God. Are you with me? And that's what I'm talking about today, regardless of what has happened yesterday, what, whether they, they attacked you and they told you you don't have enough money and blah, blah, blah. All the things you hear. Let me tell you, your faith is unshakable. Your faith is unshakable. God is about to do something that has never been done in your world, in your life in 2021. Get ready for it. Get ready for it. You are going to manifest the glory of God. You see, when you are in the place of your brilliance, you are manifesting the glory you carry with. Get ready tonight. We're going to be having another service here and on Sunday, but we're coming back on Daily Boost. I just want to encourage you today that, see, faith releases a force. There is a force that comes with faith. That means it has to move a mountain. Nothing moves without a force applied. It's called the law of inertia. The law of inertia. What does it say? A body continues in a state of rest 
or it's moved when it's impinged by another force. You see, there must be a continuity. Things will stay until it's impinged by another thing. There is what happens when words impinge things. It releases the force of faith when you act upon it. I hope this is helping somebody because I know sometimes we have those big dreams, and but the, the, the dream is so big, but then what we have is so little. Have, I have good news for you. What do you need to move from that from that small seed to the great dream you want? It requires a release of the force of faith. A release of the force of faith. When you release that force of faith, something amazing begins to happen. In your world, things begin. The, the worlds come falling down. All the walls around you, the limitations are broken. You walk through those walls. Those are imaginary limitations. You begin to break barriers and people around you are amazed. And they call you and say, I, I, how did you do it? And because you released a force that others cannot understand. What am I saying to you? Regardless of where you are, you know, one thing I've said to people is nothing can stop me. We have big ideas for 2021. Uh, I, I was talking to my team. If we have a billion dollars today, by tomorrow, that billion dollars is gone because the size of the dreams that we have goes beyond a billion dollars. Can you imagine? I want to go to Indonesia and win a hundred million people in that one nation. It's a burning thing in my spirit. And I said, if you give me money, I'm going to put that immediately to make the people of that nation happy and experience the love of God. They'll experience heaven on earth. It's not about, I have money. No, your faith would lead you to greater heights, greater glory. And when you're fulfilling purpose, it will bring unlimited satisfaction. The greatest satisfaction you can ever have is when you're fulfilling what you were born to. It's not getting a job and getting a paycheck or getting money, and getting a house. Those things are wonderful. But life is more than those things. Life is more than meat and drinks, Jesus said. Life is more than clothing you wear. There's got to be purpose behind it. But that's where faith comes for you to act and dream beyond the environment in which you're in and begin to believe God for big things. I dare you to believe for big things today and see what God can do. You see, God believes in you. That's why he made you. If he didn't believe in you, you will not be here. But the thing is society and situations, circumstances can come to undercut your faith because you failed before. Maybe, just maybe, you needed this lesson today to understand that the way God starts with you, he begins with a seed. God never gives you anything in the fullest form. I have, a, there was um, something that um, my wonderful friend, my, uh, Mike Francine, wrote the other day. And uh, I tell you, I, I, I want to read it to you. He was talking about um, um, what happened, a lesson he learned from Dr. T.L. Osborne. Now, Dr. T.L. Osborne is uh, our spiritual father. Mike Francine, myself, uh, Ida Holtz, and all those guys. Dr. T.L. Osborne, you know, was our spiritual father. And um, he was saying this about money. He says, there's no one in my life I have ever honored more than T.L. Osborne. He was my closest friend, confidant, and mentor. T.L. talked to me on levels of, quote-unquote, real, in the most personal settings, in his living room or mine. In my post on this page, I would endeavor to share with you the things I've learned and experienced during my 30 years close relationship with T.L. Osborne. We shared crusade platforms and microphones in many countries around the world. T.L. talked to me about the issues of money. Many times during the span of our friendship, he was well-versed in the scriptures. He was a staunch believer in them, a man of action. You cannot impact nation without action. I'm talking about releasing the force of faith. Who was never satisfied with simply leaving things idle, but was a doer, action doer doer of the word. T.L. was keen in regards to the biblical principles of sowing and ripping. While I was with Archbishop Idahosa in Nigeria, he shared with me a story of an encounter he had with um, Dr. Osborne early in his ministry. He told me years, he told me years ago, T.L. came for yet another crusade in Nigeria. Upon his arrival, T.L. said to me, before I leave, I'm going to give you enough money to build your dream house. <laughs> Think about that. I'm going to give you enough money 
to build your dream house. You know, pay attention to this. He said, I'm going to give you enough money to build, build a dream house. Filled with excitement, the host has shared the good news with Margaret, Archbishop Margaret, with his kids, with his church members, and everyone he knew. Nearing the end of TL's stay, he, pu he pulled him off to a private room and said to him, I told you before I left, I was going to give you enough money to build your dream house. You know, when you hear, I'm going to give you this, I'm going to give you that, because we are operating in a different space. We think, oh, he must really bring a lot of money to me. Hear this now. He says, I want to make good on this vow right now. It was at that moment, Dr. T.L. took out a hundred dollar bill and put it in my in, in the hose's hand and said to him, right now in your hand, you have enough money to build your dream house. <clears throat> I'm not a fool. Somebody gives me a hundred dollars. First thought that comes to my mind, that will not get me a plane ticket or buy a lot of bricks to build a house. But here is the man of God speaking to him and saying to him, this is enough to build your house. A hundred dollar bill. It, that can build a house in any country. I don't think, I don't know a country where a hundred dollars can build a house. And the man of God told him, you have enough money to build your dream house. He also told me he was devastated because he was expecting a lot of money. You see how we calculate things? Because we do not understand seed faith. We do not understand the dimension of faith. Hear this now. Expecting a sum of vast money, then the miserly $100 bill that was now in his hand. TL was teaching him, teaching the young Idahosa a vibrant principle. When it's not enough, to meet the need, then it is a seed. When it's not enough to meet the need, then it is a seed. Well, Benson shared this with, with me, that he saw the light, and he began practicing seed time and harvest principle. I stayed in the Hosa's dream house in Benin City. It was an amazing house, brought about by the principle of sit time and harvest. It the Hosa's putting God's word to test and ripping the harvest of obedience. His dream house came to fruition. As long as the earth remains, there will be sit time and harvest. Genesis 8, 22. Too many ministers today use Luke 6, 38 as an extraction tool, trying to pry money out of the hands of people. Belief, practice, and faith is seemingly not at the harm of the operation, but rather manipulation. We don't need to manipulate people. It's applying the principle. God tells you to do something that you've never done. You're going to get what you've never had. Can you imagine? You are used to, I'm talking about the force of faith. The force of faith. You are struggling. You want to go into the million flow. And God is telling you, okay, you're used to giving as a seed to people what is a seed? A seed is something that benefits somebody else. You get the harvest of that seed. A seed is not something you eat. If somebody gives you something, that's not a seed. That is their seed, but that's not your seed. So a seed is something that leaves you to go into your future and multiply, and in the future you get it. Do you know what? God tells you, I'm going to give you a, a million dollars, and you have nothing. All you have is $100, and you're used to giving seeds. I'm not talking about offering. I'm talking about seed now. Understand, get the mentality of offering out of your mind. I'm talking about seed time. This is the principle of faith. Jesus said, if you don't understand seed time and harvest, drink the parable of the sower, how would you understand the rest of the principle in the Bible? That's what Jesus said. The parable of the sower was the key, or the parable of the seed, or the soil of the sower. Three things, the seed, the soil, and the sower. That was a key thing that taught me on faith of God's word. I learned that principle and it changed my world. So you want to get a million dollars and you have a hundred dollars. And guess what? You're expecting a harvest of a million dollars, but I'm teaching principle. It could be a car, it could be anything. You're expecting a hundred a million dollars, but you have a hundred dollars. And God says, you're used to sowing in the tens and fifties. And God says to you, 
maybe you have a thousand dollars set aside that will take care of a couple of your needs and God speaks to you and tells you okay I'm going to give you a million dollars you get excited you had a prophetic word or you believe in God for something and it says I'm going to give you a dream house and you're excited but then you look at your bank account all you have is a hundred dollars in your hand and a thousand dollars in your bank account first thought is Lord where is it going to come from human behavior not I'm not talking about you know faith's behavior you have reason and then you have revelation you have reason faith is not a product of reason it's the product of revelation that comes from the recreated human spirit you have to understand this now the mind is telling you this this is what your mind is telling you your mind tells you well a million dollars i need nine hundred and ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine thousand dollars more so i keep this thousand dollars i'll keep this thousand dollars i need nine hundred and ninety nine thousand dollars nine hundred ninety nine thousand dollars hear this now but that's not how faith works i'm talking about the force of faith once you understand this it will change everything you do it includes finances it includes love it includes anything it's just faith is faith it's not about offering or things like that it is the principle seed time harvest that's the principle of faith people don't don't even read their bible and don't want to argue with you read the word of god and apply those principles my dear friends you'll be amazed how it works now most people would give the hundred dollars and they expect to get a million dollars you see you gave a hundred dollars when you had a thousand dollars but you need a million dollars you are so used you're so comfortable being in the hundred dollar range when you give a hundred dollars it's a lot but you are believing now get the point now i don't want you to miss this it gets very good you are believing god for a million dollars for the mission what god is calling you to do you have a hundred dollars in your pocket you have a thousand dollars in your bank account guess what most people give the hundred dollars and the thousand dollars will be their reserve currency in case something happens is the emergency kit and but faith does not look at that faith looks at one thing the word of god faith believes the word there are no plan b's when it comes to faith faith says i'm believing for the millions i'm going to go big or go home that's how faith thinks crazy things faith will do but you know people don't believe that they 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 will have something as an alternative when you have real bible faith there is no alternative you have no alternative it's the word of god or it's over that's how real bible faith works folks hallelujah you can have faith and substitute no faith in the word is 100 percent or nothing but that's how it really works and guess what happens they give a hundred and they're believing god for a million they are afraid to give a thousand you cannot have fear and faith operating in the same place you see because when there's fear there is no love of god of god's purpose or his word that means there is something stopping you i'm talking about the force of faith what happens when faith is unleashed it's released from your spirit what can happen i'm telling you you'd be amazed what god would do from that little seed and you can get a forest you want to get a million dollars you start guess what faith says if it's not enough what i have in my hand if it's not enough it's a seed i'm going to give it away and then you give the thousand dollars and all of a sudden thousands are coming to you and you're surprised no you've just sold a thousand and you're going to get multiples of thousands it starts coming to you that is really my dear friends how faith works because what happens is the bounce is when you give it shall be given unto you god releases things the same thing with healing you want to you, you you're so tired you've been sick for months and then you hear a word god says to you now i you said i want to be healed god says okay i have something for you i have my word in you it's a little thing but what are you going to do with it that's the question 
Some of us have more security in that little instead of the big thing that God has. Faith is letting go of the small stuff. Take on God's big stuff. That's what faith is. It's linking your needs to God's supply. It's linking, linking your littleness to God's greatness. It's linking all of those things. Faith becomes the link. I just trust God. I'm going to believe God that 2021, things are going to be different. I am going to ride on the waves of the Spirit. I'm going to be moving in a different dimension. When you begin to do that, something happens. You begin to break barriers. All of a sudden, you saw the thousand, and something happens. You're not sowing out of fear. You're sowing because you have a picture of what God wants to do. You shall have what you say. You can say to that mountain, be moved. That could be the mountain of debt or the mountain of concerns. Be moved and be cast into the sea. And you don't doubt in your heart that what you say will come to pass and you shall have what you say. You see, I'm talking about the force of faith being released. The force of faith being released. And all of a sudden, you have like 10, 15, 20,000 come, but 20,000 is not a million dollars. What happens? You take that. That's what a farmer does. It's funny how we, when we talk about money, people get funny. But when we talk about planting a field, people understand that because people are used to, okay, I have a seed, I plant. I wait for the harvest to come. Or when I have more seed, I plant. That's how we do it. You see, seed time. As you keep sowing, you keep casting the bread upon the waters, it releases something. It could be healing. It could be anything. A seed is a seed. A seed is a seed, my dear friends. And I hope this is helping somebody. Because once you understand this, God always gives you something in your hands. He always puts something in your hands. Don't ever say, I have nothing. God says, what do you have in your hand? It could be the lint out of your trousers. It could be just a scent. That's a starting point. Release that seed and see what God will do. And I'm telling you, after a while, some people are trusting in their riches or trusting in that seed. They hold on to the seed. Seed is not for eating. Seed is for planting. That's the key. If you want to harvest, seed time harvest. It will never cease. Genesis 8.22. That's an example. So a farmer plants a seed. He gets a harvest. So you plant a, uh, a thousand and ten thousand came. Hear this now. <laughs> and God spoke to you. Now release the ten thousand. And you saw a, a ten thousand dollar seed. And then a hundred thousand came. But you see, we understand that when we're planting a garden. We plant a little bit. We plant two beds. And we have the harvest, and then we plant for four beds or eight beds, and then we go eight beds. We don't so say, I'm going to plant another two beds. No, you go big because you want a whole forest. Your goal is a forest. Your goal is not two beds. You're not planting two beds of, of plants. You want a forest. So what do you do? If that is the picture you have, what you do is seed time harvest. Seed time harvest. Seed time harvest. Seed time harvest. Seed time time harvest will never cease that is the principle of faith that means you start up maybe you 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 have a you, you you've not walked in six months and you're hearing the word of god you have a little seed of the word of god in you and what do you do you you, you try to stand up you try to stand up and it's just a little seed and you see a little success you say thank you lord and then you you, you sit on the bed and Thank God I'm sitting now. It's seed time harvest. So you put action. You have a seed. You put your faith in action. In a short time, you have a harvest. Your body stands up. And then you do it again. You put the next step. And then before you know it, you stand up. Seed time harvest. It's just that is the motion. The dynamo of faith. It's a force. It's a, it's, you see, Faith is a force. It's dynamo. It's dynamic. Faith moves mountains. It moves because it is like an engine. So it explodes and explodes. That's what a car is. A multiple explosion. That's why you hear the sound. Boop, 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 boop. Because things are exploding in the chambers, the combustion chambers. It's exploding and forcing it to go. And that's the same thing. So you have a little faith. Act on it. Your body feels a little better. Then you act on it again. It feels a little better. And the more you're doing it, it becomes a rapid series, that's the acceleration now, series of motion. You start here, just like you are accelerating a car. You go from the speed to that speed to that speed, and before you know it, you break out. I'm trying to get you to see how it really works. 
and it can happen in a second. All this in, uh, power happens in a second when you act on it. All of a sudden, it's a multiple multiplicity of actions. You take that first step, you take the first step, and you're walking, and then the second step, and the third step, the fourth step, you start accelerating. There is a force of faith released that you are now going and soaring on eagle's wings. You're soaring on eagle's wings. I'm talking to you today. Where are you today? In, in, in a couple of days, things can change. You don't want to miss the power school coming up. We're going to be teaching you amazing, so you don't want to miss it. I'm telling you, things are coming to, together when you're acting. There is a force released when you're acting on the Word of God. You start with a seed. You start with, with a substance, the Word of God. You want to, be, you want to have a million dollars in a couple of weeks, a couple of months. You start, and then you sow a thousand dollars. You break a barrier. Then God blesses you, and you have a 10,000, 15,000, 20,000 coming. I'm teaching you how to think big. And that's how every successful person that is legitimately successful. I'm not talking about crooks now. Legitimately successful. That's the principle they used to build. If you ask the gentleman from Amazon, he would tell the same thing. Max Zuckerberg, he would tell the same thing. All the very rich people, they are steps that no one just gets up one day and just overnight, except you inherit some money. But everybody puts faith in action. And you see, seed time harvest they do that in the secular world but when it comes to christians we all of a sudden lose our lose our common sense because we say oh god is going to do it it's the same principle faith without action instead we need to understand the force that comes with faith that's what you need to know that's what you need to know how can i act on that it's very simple see you start where you are god says what do you have in your hand or it could say what do you have in your house Look around you. Don't make an inventory of your needs. You know what you, you're believing for. Know what you're believing for. Write it down. Paste it somewhere. Post it out somewhere. Uh, I'm believing God for the $10 million. And what do you do? That is the final picture in your spirit. That's what you will have. Believe you have received it. And then the next thing you do is make an inventory of your seeds, not your needs. I'm teaching you how to do it. God will always give you an opportunity to release a seed. He will bring a man or woman of God your way. He could bring somebody that has a need for you to release a seed. When you release a seed, something happens. It could be your seed of faith to get up from that bed and you're healed. It could be a seed of faith of releasing what you've been keeping, the money that oh, you're almost worshiping. You release it. Something happens in the realm of the spirit. There's a breaking that happens. You are free and hallelujah. You are moving in a different dimension. You go from a thousand to 10,000 and then 10,000 comes in. All of a sudden you have a hundred thousand. Then you sow a hundred thousand and then you get into the million flow. When you get to the million flow, you're looking for a forest, not two trees. You are believing for a forest, not to why stop with two trees if your goal is a forest? And that's the problem with most people. That's why some people stay small because they think, oh, I have enough. You see, when you think like that, you're thinking a little selfish because you need the resources that God has made available to you so that you can bless the world. You can make people's dreams happen. You can build. You can I think about this all the time. I wish we could just have the airplane now i'll be in countries indonesia here there to minister love to people because they need to know how amazing jesus is they need to know he will heal them he will save them he will deliver them i think about all the nations people deserve to hear good news it doesn't happen in a vacuum it happens when we are in action believing god for things hallelujah i dare you today i know to, to do something you've never done Register for the Power School of Miracles. Whatever it takes, show up for the Power School starting on Monday, the 18th to the 24th. We're starting the evening on Monday. During the day, we have registration and everything else. But you need to come. Go to psom.org. That's right at the bottom of the screen. You don't want to miss it. Register. If you cannot make it, still register online so that you can participate. It is going to be glorious. It's going to be glorious. You cannot miss it. It's going to be glorious. So you need to register for the power school. I'm telling you, wherever you are, tell your friends, I need to register. Make that a priority. This is one week of marinating in the glory. I'm telling you, the Holy Ghost has given me such a, a fresh revelation of that topic. His beloved. Do you know what it means? What I'm going to give you a little tease here. Do you know the Bible says 
this is my beloved son. It's just not my son, my beloved son. He said, let the world hear him. Let the world, see, if you're in the beloved, the world will respond to you. I'm just going to give you that a little bit. The world will respond to you. Let the world hear him. He has given all judgment to the beloved. Everything that you need, if you understand the dimension of the beloved, revelation unlocks power. That's the key. So you need to register in, to the Power School of Miracles. I'm telling you, I know it will be worth everything you invest in. It's an investment you're making in your future. And uh, also, today I'm going to give you an opportunity to do something amazing. You see, you want to go into the million flow. You want to break barriers. You want to do some things you've never done. God always gives you an opportunity. Paul made a statement. He said, I know you have a generous spirit. You want to put this principle to use. But you have always lacked opportunity. You've not had the opportunity to do it. Now, in other words, I know you want to sow seeds, but the opportunity has not been there. You see, you've got to qualify the ground you're sowing. You have the seed, you have the sower. You are the sower of seeds. The ground is this ministry. And guess what? Qualified. And you are the sower and the seed is in your hand. What am I saying? I'm going to give you an opportunity now. You're going to do this. This is the beginning of the year. This could be your first fruit to the ministry. If this ministry has been a blessing to you, you know, we have blessed people around the world. If you know you're receiving spiritual nourishment from the daily boost, from things like that, make an investment in that. You see, God speaks to you to do it, do it. I'm talking about the force of faith. So you say, Lord, I, I have set this aside, but I want to dare to break barriers. I want to go to another dimension. I'm telling you, God's going to do something incredible for you. I'm telling you that his word cannot fail. He and his word are one. So I'm going to give you an opportunity. We're going to give you an opportunity to sow seeds beginning in Daily Boost this year. You want this year to be a year of unforgettable, unforgettable success. I'm going to give you an opportunity. You, first thing we're going to do is you if, you if you want to sow a seed into the ministry, we have opportunity to do that. You can go to paypal.me. They'll put that on the screen for you. PayPal.me, and you'll be able to see that and make sure you can sow your seeds. Okay, so you make sure you have that, you have the options, PayPal.me and a forward slash Charles and Devon. Or you can go to our website, Christlove.org. When you go there, you just click that red button that says donate. Click the donate button once you go online, click on it, I will take you right there and you can sow a seed. We, give, we have all the options, we have the Venmo. And the Venmo option, they will be able to put that on the screen for you also. It's uh, the at sign, Dr. Charles uh, 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 hyphen and different. You'll be able to sow a seed there. And then we have the cash app option also. You see, this is God giving you a field to sow, to prove the word of God. You see, you don't tell me you have faith without action. I know a lot of people say, well, I believe that, but I'm gonna do it later. Let me tell you something, God does not do that. Immediate obedience to God's word as the key that guarantees a lot of things. You see, God is not really moved by emotions. If he was moved by emotions, we'll be sending him on errands everywhere. He's moved by faith. He's moved by his word. He's moved by people that believe to apply the word. That's what he's moved by. So you, you have the dollar sign, Charles and Ethan. That is just an opportunity so that we can get the gospel to every nation. That's what we're doing. We want to get the gospel to every nation. People deserve to hear good news. And then we have all the options. If you're making out a check, make it out to Christ Love Media, P.O. Box 72800, Providence, Rhode Island, 02907. You see all of that in the bottom of the screen. It's right there waiting for you. And um, did we miss anything else? I want to make sure. Well, we, are we covered? Is this anything else? So we want to give an opportunity for you to sow a seed. And I know when you do that, God is going to honor his word. God always honors his word. You see, I stand here because I know God cannot fail. He actually honors his word. If he did it for me, he will do it for you. We are breaking barriers this year. I'm going to start the year. I want to break barriers. I want to break barriers in my giving. Hallelujah. Why? Because I am looking for a mega forest. I'm looking for an Amazon. I'm looking for an Amazon rainforest of blessing. So I want to be sowing like crazy because I believe God is going, to do, is going to do some crazy miracles for me too. Hallelujah. 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 I want you to know that God is at work and he is able to do what he says he will do. I hope that this has helped you. You want to share this with other people. You see, today is the word for today. I mentioned about the first fruit. If you've not sown your first fruit, the Bible says, honor the Lord with your substance. The first fruit of all 
of your increase, the first fruit of all of your increase. So God wants you to understand that that belongs to him. Okay, but I hope that this has blessed you. Go back and listen to this again. Put some good notes there. I know you guys like to put some beautiful notes. I like to read your notes. You know, from time to time, I just go back there and read the notes just to make sure you're catching it. Remember that faith is a force that's unleashed by your actions. Okay, so thank you again for listening to me. I take nothing for granted that you listen to me. You chose to listen to me today. Thank you. And I want to wish you a very happy new year. I am going to be consistent now. We're going to be doing a lot of things. We have new setup. Let us know what you think of our new uh, new uh, setup, uh, background. No, just want to keep things fresh. Let me know how you like it. And I would really appreciate all of the wonderful things. And uh, I see, let, we, can we bring some people on the camera? You know, let's see. Um, um, we just want to see um, some of the folks that are watching us from different parts of the world. Um, if you want to share some things with us, let us know. Uh, I see some people. If I just want to say hi to some of you, Pastor Felix. Let's see, are you here? And uh, we we'll see um, some of you are. Uh, we have Demetria. Um, see whether we can bring her on. Hello, Demetria. How are you? And let me know what you guys topics you want me to talk about. I'll be willing to talk about those topics with you. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Let's see this. I have some of my amazing people. Hello, Dr. Brian. Hallelujah. We see some of you. My goodness, I'm reading some of the wonderful, wonderful things. As Shanna, good afternoon. I'm reading some of those things. So it's nice to read some of those comments. I see uh, Candice, God bless you. And uh, praise God. I hope that this has blessed you today. I am so excited that you came on today. And we'll be bringing some of you on the camera from time to time. Okay. I know it's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. I know Ra Ramsey is busy working. Hallelujah. Once in a while, we're going to bring some of you on the camera just to see how you guys are doing. Don't run away. I'm not going to rat you guys out today. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I see Christina, you know, snaps from the Pacific Northwest. God bless you. I see all of you. Richard, God bless you. Hallelujah. Oh, my goodness. The team is back. I see Jesse. Oh, my goodness. We'll see you guys tonight. It's going to be a glorious night. I see... Emmanuel, God bless you, and Rita and Twi. I think that must be my, my family back home. Okay. I want to say thank you very much. And um, thank you for joining us today. And uh, we're going to keep it short, sweet. Make sure you get blessed. Okay. Share this with others. Don't forget, share it with others. The Bible says we walk by faith and not by sight. God bless you. We'll see you again tomorrow on another Daily Dose of your Daily Dose. God bless you. i see you soon.